Welcome back to What Rights is Sigma 11. Now you got the Rocky Mountains in the background there with the ship out there in the ocean. So the two nights of January the 6th, January the 7th, 2004 was minus 17, minus 20. I had a two summer sleeping bags rated for five degrees. So five degrees was the sleeping bag. Uh, the both of them, they were about as thin as blankets and really didn't provide much warmth. So I'm going to move ahead now from January the 6th. I already went to internal investigations. You already know about the response there. I tried to contact 739 news media organizations around the world to do a story about the alleged violations of my rights here in Canada, the rights that I claim that I do not have. No response. I did get a computer-generated message from CNN saying they received my letter. That was all. I then set out to contact newspaper reporters through their email addresses. More than 300 I contacted. I got a reply from one, from Alberta. I turned around and sent the letter to Amnesty International. I sent the letter by email to the RCMP headquarters, the head office in Ottawa. Still, no response. What was happening here, somebody went through a lot of effort to make sure that I was going to be able to get out there in the public what had taken place right here in Canada. However, I did send over 200 pages, document it, to Rainbow Coalition in Atlanta, Georgia. I sent another three and a half inch floppy disk with 50 condensed pages of the 200 plus pages addressed to Reverend Jesse Jackson in Chicago, Illinois. I am still in contact with Rainbow Coalition in Atlanta, Georgia. I send faxes there on a steady basis. So stay tuned to YouTube for section 12 and we're gonna talk, begin to talk about what happened about the 38 days of incarceration.